Welcome to another episode of Discover Feng Shui with Joey Yap. Today I'm going to show you how you can personalize your Feng Shui. And in order to do this, I need you to prepare two things. A blank piece of paper to work out some calculations. And of course, your date of birth. Now, with this piece of information, you will find out what we call a life gua. And from your life gua, you will know what are your favorable and unfavorable directions. With this piece of information, I will show you how you can use it immediately to improve your feng shui of your home or your office. So stay tuned. Two of the most important factors in feng shui is direction and location. So in today's program, I'm going to talk about direction. How you can personalize your feng shui. In order to do this, you first have to know what is your life gua number or personal gua number. This number is actually what we call a feng shui number where you use your personal date of birth and convert it into a number that represents certain element for you. This number will then give you your auspicious and inauspicious directions. I will explain to you what each direction means to you later on. But first thing, this is how you calculate your date of birth. Here, let's say we have 1956. We take 5 plus 6. Take the last two digits of the year, add them together, 5 plus 6 equals to 11 and 11 sum it out to one digit 1 plus 1 equals 2 now this is the n digit number now for males use 10 to minus this number so here we have 10 minus 2 equals to 8 so all males born in the year of 1956 you are gua number 8 And for females, you take the 2 and you add 5. All the numbers here for females, remember, add 5. So number 2, add 5, you get number 7. So all females born in the year 1956, you are Gua number 7. Let's try another example. Let's use 1976. 1976, remember the last two digits, 7 plus 6 equals 13, and sum it up to a single digit, 1 plus 3 equals to 4, and for males, remember, 10 minus 4 equals to 6, so your qua number is 6. And for females, remember, you have to add 5, so take 4 and then plus 5, then you get a 9. So all females born in 1976, your qua number is number 9. Now one thing you got to take note of is that um, the cutoff point for every year is February 4th. And it is not the Chinese lunar calendar. It's not the Chinese New Year that you use to measure here. It is the Chinese solar calendar. And by the way, did you know that we have a Chinese solar calendar, a Chinese lunar calendar? The solar calendar has a standard cutoff point. That is February 4th. And you know what? All Chinese metaphysics, be it Chinese astrology, the Bazi system, or Chinese feng shui systems, it is based on the Chinese solar calendar. The Chinese lunar calendar is actually used for another system called purple star astrology. 